a man can't like pickles. <sighs> We're not starting our episode with that line. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was writing it down. He was going to. He was going to. Like just, just an out of context. Like <laughs> it's not in the episode. All right, sorry, sorry, sorry. We'll start a it this way. Right? Can't like right. pickles. What I'm just saying, I've I've eaten a jar of pickles every night, <laughs> and honestly, I feel like my face is a little tighter. Like my double chin is gone. <laughs> Like I feel like it's working. All right, hey man. <laughs> What's up? Have you ever heard of Operation Chrome Dome? Chrome Dome. <laughs> <laughs> what? See, when you use it as a verb, it feels really wrong. We've done it like ten times, but there's nothing funnier to me than spilled water. <laughs> Freaking Chrome Dome, weird guy. That little girl. Yeah. Dropped her from an airplane yeah, once. <laughs> And we're back. <laughs> Ew. We should all go to like couples therapy together. <laughs> Things I learned last night. Tilling it, tilling it, tilling it. Operation Chrome Dome? Yeah, Operation Chrome Dome. Yeah. Yeah, really? Yeah, it's <laughs> where. Uh, um, so Google came out with these Chromebooks, right? Yeah. Uh, and so what I've been doing is just smacking people over the head with Chromebooks. Yeah. That's is that it? That's Chrome Dome in someone. <laughs> Get Chrome Dome. <laughs> I don't know. It just sounds really not appropriate. <laughs> it's got Chrome Dome. <laughs> See, when you use it as a verb, it feels really wrong. It's. Uh, here's what, what are you I- doing this weekend? Chrome Dome. <laughs> <laughs> it just feels not right at all. Operation Chrome Dome. Yeah, I'm convinced that this is like I'm convinced at this point that the military names their operations after nicknames they give to people in the military that they <laughs> don't like. <laughs> oh, Chrome, Chrome Dome. Dome. <laughs> <laughs> and it's because he came in with braces one day, and that's what they <laughs> called him. They were like, ah, here's an adult with braces. I don't like it. It makes yeah, me uncomfortable. It is very uncomfortable. Like, I mean, the 2020 mask thing. That was your year, you know, to be an adult <laughs> with braces. Gonna, yeah, I just, true. I automatically, if let's say, I, let's say, I need a lawyer. Okay. I hire a lawyer. That yeah. lawyer shows up to court as an adult with braces. Yeah, I immediately assume that I'm going to spend 40 years in jail. <laughs> you're like, yeah, uh, for an unpaid honor? parking ticket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or just put me in prison. Uh, honestly, uh, honestly, your honor. <laughs> all the charges I brought against me. I know that I didn't do them, but I will. I will plead guilty I'll, just to get away from this guy. I can't be near this. I person. can't. I don't. Dude, I'm wearing a sweater today. He's going <laughs> to snag it on his teeth. Okay, I don't need that. <laughs> Send me to jail. <laughs> <laughs> Get me away from this chrome oh dome. I'll gosh. tell you what. Did you have braces? Yeah. Did you really? Yeah. Uh, you Do you think my too. teeth are this beautiful on accident? Some people are. Yeah, I'm not natural. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't all natural. <laughs> this is this is a modified mouth over here. <laughs> this is a manipulated mouth. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Got some, <laughs> yeah. You got some shiny naturals over there. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. See my girl, she's all natural. <laughs> Little snaggle tooth, babe. Mm. Oh gosh. My teeth are real though, unlike yours. <laughs> yeah, mine are all fake. All of them are fake. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Tim has dentures. Tim's yours. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Okay. We won't talk about my teeth. Um, You're so insecure. In- he got insecure real fast. Did you see that? Did you see that? No, look, oh, look, he goes. Look. <laughs> you can't see on this one. Yeah, they're not even on your camera. Can What's you up with that? your? Can what you, is can it? You see that? Oh, what happened I'll, to your tooth? I'll have a tooth there. What Same happened? thing on this side. You know what it looks like? You know Did you know that? No. Yeah, I'm missing two teeth on both sides. They just didn't grow in. Yeah, so I didn't have adult teeth, so they pulled them. And the dentist, I was 17. The dentist said. Whoops, they could put in fake teeth. Yeah, and my parents asked how much that was and they were like, here's what happened. So I <laughs> parents there's backstory like, to that. I'll give you a my parents Ramsey's were plan, like right my, my parents were like, hey, this is really expensive and we're not going to put that much more money into your Do mouth. You want two teeth and so they said four years in college. <laughs> they literally they were like they're like you, you're about to turn 18. They're like, so if you want them, you can pay for them or later down the line. You can pay for them whatever you want and I was 17. So I was like, I don't want to pay for that I, and even if I wanted to I couldn't afford it. Uh, so I didn't put them in and so I've just not had teeth there since I was 17. So wait, your adult teeth just didn't grow in. We've mm-hmm. literally never talked about this is bizarre to me. Yeah, I just never had adult teeth. You know there. our 10 year friendship anniversary is next year. Oh weird and I'm just finding out that, that you have civil teeth. war jaw. 
All right. <laughs> I'm just now finding out. Orca. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you look like you're the way that your teeth look. You look like you'd be in a museum and be like, oh, yeah, that's how teeth look back then. <laughs> yeah, it's why I haven't got my wisdom teeth pulled because I've got room for them to come in to shift my all my molars in. Um, so they, they've just slowly been shifting. My dentist thinks I should put new teeth in, but honestly, I've adapted to it and it's kind of nice. Like I just got it, there's there's it's kind of great because I mean like I'll eat dinner. I'm like that was a really good dinner and like an hour later. I'm like oh more dinner. Oh. <laughs> no, they, they it's like harden up my gums there. It used to be really tender. It would hurt. Yeah, but here's what happened. My parents well, you know how it. I harden my gums. <laughs> You know how I harden my gums? What? Is I just smack them against rock every day. <laughs> <laughs> and then I would well, I started with bags of sand, right? And, I just, <laughs> and then I graduated to like and then I just took full on cinder blocks. <laughs> and I just, just smash them <laughs> into my gums. <laughs> Gosh dang it. My parents though, my, I, I don't want to make them sound heartless. I I Tim and accidentally Terry, extended my years who of braces. apparently listen to this podcast. Yeah, because every time I've made fun of your parents. Yeah, they're fans. My parents support okay. me. Is that so hard for you? Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, my parents are Patreon supporters, so really if we think about whose parents are doing the most, it just kind of seems like you know, right, so here's what happened and I got all my teeth. I so whose braces. parents <laughs> whose parents love them? You know, that's really the question, isn't it? I had braces um, for like 12 years and the reason is because I had the braces and it was like a program where it's like you have them on for a minute and then you take them off well, the second time around whenever at the end of the time they asked me to to bite down. I uh-huh. thought that what was good. Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You told me where you like adjusted your mouth to go. Mm-hmm. I thought what was good is to have your teeth line up perfectly. I thought that's what they were trying to do. No, and I wanted my braces off, so I just lied and I would just mm-hmm. bite down straight down. And they were so perplexed. They were every time they were like, "Wow." <laughs> and I thought they were amazed. <laughs> and you were like, "These people have never seen teeth so good." <laughs> And so they just kept extending the program to try to fix my bite. Yeah. Um, you had to like wear rubber bands. Four extra years. You had to wear the rubber bands, right? Until finally, when I was like 16 or 17. Did you I have to wear rubber bands? Them. I'm asking yes, you a question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I asked them. I was like, I was like, I was like, hey, so what's the goal here? What are you guys trying to do? And they're like, because well, my teeth have been perfect for four years. <laughs> <laughs> like, can we take these things off? I mean, and they were like, <laughs> They're like, we're trying to make your bite like your bites lining up perfectly. Yeah. You don't want that. We want either an over or under bite and you were like, and I was like, oh, hold on. <laughs> I literally was like, oh, yeah. Um, so about that, <laughs> here's my actual bite and then they took my braces off. <laughs> they were like, we can do this today. <laughs> they were like, they're like, oh, and I was like, I'm sorry. I've been lying to you <laughs> and they're like, we don't care. We squeeze like four grand extra grand out of your parents. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, they were like actually <laughs> like can you here here. Let me see your bite again <laughs> and they're slipping you a 50 <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, let me see your bite. Uh, yeah, you gotta yeah. keep these things on. So my parents were not entertained. Sorry, Tim and Terry <laughs> and they were like, you can keep gaps in your teeth now. So they were like, you can pay for it since you did that. Mm-hmm. So that's what how that anyways operation Chrome dome. So <laughs> <laughs> and really if I can youth pastor it for a moment, isn't that what we do with the Lord? <laughs> Or we've spent a lot of our effort trying to prove that we're straight and narrow and <laughs> he's just looking stuff. for our overbite. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> he's just trying to fix your overbite, you know? Because you're biting off more than you can chew. <laughs> Let's go to prayer. Uh, if you would like to know the Lord, you can make a first of all, you can make a donation. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> first of all, before we first of all, we're going to pass the plate, <laughs> which we are going to do at our ice cream social. By the way, <laughs> we are going to pass the plate. Um, <laughs> switch to Tim right now. What are you doing? Do that like with your hand again. Freaking chrome dome weird guy. Okay, <laughs> chrome <laughs> dome weird so what is operation chrome dome so if it's not about adults with braces? <laughs> So it's the sixties in the United States of America. Everybody's freaked out because the USSR is uh, going to blow their USSR in. Yeah, the USSR ended up. Um, it's the height of the Cold War, and the sixties were a particularly tense moment in the Cold War um, because uh, the USSR figured out um, 
intercontinental ballistic missiles. And so that for the first time, right, they could send a missile overseas to some other. Did you know that the, the Billy Graham LA events? The, uh, uh, they the, they invented the ballistic missile. No, I'm <laughs> saying that like the reason the Billy Graham LA events were so <laughs> huge mm-hmm. is because the Russia tested those bombs and they used those LA events were two days later mm. and so it became kind of and like so oh, they really a- could because I mean what cities are going to target New York and Los Angeles yeah, right exactly That's so, so interesting the, uh, so one of the ways they marketed that the Billy Graham revivals was they they the have does not they really did they were like they've got missiles that can reach LA now are you prepared to die Dang. where were you, you know that's crazy and that's I never why, knew that anyway. I know anyway. <laughs> anyway. I know you didn't that's why I said it <laughs> yeah <laughs> things I learned last night <laughs> gosh slurp a little We've done it like 10 times, but there's nothing funnier to me than spilled water. <laughs> Just all over me. Yeah. <laughs> I tried so hard to hold it together, too. It's <laughs> good. No. <laughs> so the U.S. didn't have this technology yet. And so what that meant is it would take us hours to get a plane over to Russia if they shot a missile, and their missiles would take 30 minutes to get to us. And our intelligence at the time, uh, we believe they had about 200 of these, and so they could wipe out America oh, before yeah. we could get a plane across the ocean um, to even respond. Uh, and so fear was high, and so the U.S. had to make a plan to respond in the event that they used one of these missiles. Operation Chrome Dome was born. Okay? All right, let's change angles and cut that out <laughs> to save you. It's a save you embarrassment. It doesn't. Let's also me. cut out the part where Tim's got weird teeth. Can you cut that out? <laughs> Uh, it's an image thing. It's, it's a like, brand. It's like a branding an opacity thing. mask around my mouth. <laughs> Ancient. It's I'll put in <laughs> my mouth. Just hey man. Have you ever heard of we got to get some good B roll footage. Here we go. The, Connor if you can take my mouth and put it over a tip just put that in there. Okay, great. Uh, okay, so Chrome Dome. Here's what I'm gonna guess then, <coughs> legitimately. Yeah. Is it similar to the Iron Dome that Israel has, where uh, it's basically a system that identifies missiles that are flying over and then pff, shoots those? No. Because Israel has that. <laughs> yeah. No. Different. Pretty crazy stuff. Uh, so their response was just to throw m- Chromebooks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just guessing here. Uh, so here's what they did. They said, okay, our missiles. They you don't. Oh, they're not missiles. They're bombs, uh, and so a plane has to take them over there. And they said we've got a bunch of B fifty two bombers. So what we're going to do is we're just always going to have a B fifty two bomber flying pretty close to Russia. And okay. so Chrome Dome ran from sixty to sixty eight. And at that time, for eight years, they just got. They've always got a. a the, for eight years, they had at least twelve B fifty two bombers loaded with nuclear bombs at all times, flying somewhere in route to Russia, um, but never crossing the line, <laughs> but just basically circling like, to say mm-hmm. we're good. <laughs> What's that sound? Uh, it's B 52 bomber. Oh, that's the chrome dome. That's the chrome dome. <laughs> Can you imagine that's your daily job though is just for eight <laughs> years, maybe dropping a bomb, <laughs> you know? Yeah, I don't and know. Then like you, okay, let's this. say let's say you serve four years in the Air Force, right? Yeah, yeah that's your job as a driver, right? And so then after you know now you're however old you are, which is this 1968, <laughs> right? So born in like the 40s, maybe late 30s, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, now yeah. you're in your 80s, right? Yeah. And then your grandkids are like, you were a war hero, and all you did was just you were basically a sky trucker, <laughs> just <laughs> freaking running a route, sky just you know what I'm saying? Like you didn't. I mean, that's all you did. Uh, so uh, they had a couple routes that they took. Um, the the main route was and the Russia more, never knew. <clears throat> oh no, they knew. That was kind of the point. Oh, they Russia was Russia like, yeah, I'm okay. You're like, oh, you got the bomb. And then the the <laughs> they cross into airspace and they go, hello, Gary, <laughs> right? And then they're and then they're like, hey, 
All right. All right. We'll see you tomorrow. You guys, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, so they had a couple routes. Uh, they would <coughs> depart from central US, somewhere in central US. Okay. Fly up over the northeast, around Canada, up towards Greenland, around Alaska, and then back down the west coast into wherever they came from. That was the what northern route. Huh? Okay, so they would go northeast. Yeah. And then over to Alaska? Over, yeah, up to Greenland and then over Canada to Alaska. Say, up to where? Greenland. You hear it, right? Greenland. Okay. <clears throat> Greenland? What, it, what Iceland? could I possibly be saying wrong there? Greenland. It's land. It's L A N D, not Iceland. L E N D. How do you. Are you dumb? Greenland, Iceland. I have a serious question. Are you an idiot? Greenland, Iceland. That's how it's spelled, man. Gre- Greenland, Iceland. Yeah, that's how lazy people talk. Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's green. No, that's how. That's how people. That's how you say. <clears throat> All right. Hey, you know what? That was a moment of conviction. God was so like, "Don't take out your anger." Greenland. Thank you. And around Alaska, uh, and then back okay, into it's Alaska. But all right. <laughs> And then back into the U.S. Uh, the other route, the southern route, uh, departed oh, yeah, from the Alaska East Coast. and Russia almost touch. Yeah, yeah, they're like, right. they're like that. They would fly over. They'd wave at baby Sarah Palin, <laughs> and then they, <laughs> <laughs> they'd fly back. Hey, Sarah. <laughs> she grew up, you know, yeah. on the snowmobiles, looking at the admiring the Chrome Dome. She's like, look at those sky truckers. <laughs> uh, and so the southern route, they crossed the Atlantic and then just kind of circled the Mediterranean and then came back. Okay. Uh, and then the western route. Uh, they left from the Pacific Northwest and then kind of just flew around Alaska a couple times and then came back. Uh, so it was all somewhere in route to Russia was where these were at all times uh, was kind of the idea. So that way right. if something happened. They could break from their pattern and then just go to Russia and sure. bomb them um, and most of them uh, at any given time had at least two thermonuclear bombs, but sometimes six thermonuclear bombs Jeez. on board um, that were armed and ready to be ready to go dropped. Um, and so here's the thing about when you're doing anything for 24 hours straight for eight years. Um, you get lazy. Yeah, something's gonna go wrong. Uh, so th- for example, um, th- this is very similar to like those churches that do the 24 hours of prayer for like eight years. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if you've ever gone to those. Um, but they get some bad worship leaders in there. There's some moments in a that's while. pretty rough, uh, and that's kind of what happened uh, with Operation Chrome Dome. Um, there was a few prob- logistical problems that they had to figure out that ended up becoming kind of logistical nightmares later down the road. The biggest one being is we're keeping 12 uh, B 52 bombers airborne for eight years. How are we going to do that? Um, and so occasionally they would land swap out crews. They would take back off, um, but most of the time these would be running about a 24 hour route um, where they'd be flying around for 24 hours and that's a long time for a plane and a lot of fuel, and so they would typically have to refuel twice in this flight. Um, and then and to, that's like refueling while flying. Yeah, mm-hmm. which, which is, wasn't a new concept at this right. point, <clears throat> but it wasn't a science by any means. The prevailing method at this point for midair refuelings was a the refueling tanker would fly nearby and they would basically have a lasso of like a fuel hose in a lasso and they would just kind of chuck it to the other plane. And they get and one <laughs> dude from Texas on top of the plane. Just <laughs> yeehaw on it <laughs> straight on down because I mean these are sky truckers. They don't care, <laughs> right? They have no fear. I mean, it's a, it's a little bit like I mean, you know the culture right? they're out <laughs> there just, ah! just throwing their their lassos around. Yeah, but this yeah. wasn't because um, now they do it where like the plane comes up and they just look like two flies mating, right? <laughs> I don't know. That <laughs> two horse flies just reproducing. You know? Yeah, that's pretty accurate because okay. So what they ended up they tried to they tested a bunch of methods. Um, they ended up settling. They have like a big boom pole um, that's like stationary a giant straw. Yeah, essentially a big straw and they it flies over and they basically have to get the perfect spot and then that just kind of latches on uh, and then it <laughs> refuels. So the problem with this was the B 52s. They were jets, um, but the tankers, they were still double piston aircraft. So 
they just weren't as fast uh, right. and they also couldn't fly nearly as high. So the B 52s had to drop down into significantly lower airspace, which meant they were now in the clouds, which meant they were going to hit turbulence. Oh yeah, uh, and the the tankers were going to also hit turbulence. So you've got these two things that are flying very close to each other that are very large that are hitting turbulence they hit each trying. Other. Yeah, and so that was the big worry with this. The other big issue is the top speed for these tankers is uh, lower than the lowest speed for the B 52s oh, to keep them airborne. So it got they would have to get so slow that they actually would open their landing gear like it was the landing operation was how slow they had to travel, but they're at like 15,000 feet um, refueling this and so it was a very dangerous operation um, and you're doing this, but why? Okay, why wouldn't they just land in? Well, because it's with these routes, they didn't have places they could stop and land okay. on most of these routes um, and so it was just it was a logistical problem and also they wanted to um, the fear was that they had so many um, of these missiles that they could launch all of them at once to all of their military installations. And so if any of those were on the ground, they'd be destroyed. They wanted to make sure that they always had them in the air. So that way they could avoid right. the bombs, <clears throat> you know, right, right, right. Uh, and so but here's the thing for each of these flights. Imagine being one of those pilots and you see the bomb like <laughs> through the clouds. Yeah, like you're like you're sitting here trying to focus on like, okay, landing yeah, well, gear down. Okay, they're coming day, down and they, day 730 that? of what was that? Did you see that? You see that? All right. Probably one of those. I think Tom DeLong has been talking about those things. A lot. <laughs> what, are they, what do they call those? The F. I'll tell you what. Uh, I don't know what it was, but I guess we'll probably find out in an undisclosed report sixty years from now. <laughs> sixty years from now. Uh, so yeah. So uh, things went wrong. <laughs> so. <laughs> So things got pretty bad. So, so uh, yeah, yeah. So things things went wrong a few times. Okay. Uh, the first time was in 1961. Um, in a oh, town they're only a year into it. Yeah, uh, in Goldsboro, North Carolina, on uh, January 23rd, um, one of these B-52. They called it the Strato Fortress. Okay, uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, they were carrying four megaton. Mark 39, three, four megaton. So three of them that were four megatons. Oh, okay, okay. Mark 39 nuclear bombs. Um, so 12 megatons of bomb. Yeah, 12 megatons worth of bomb. Um, which, if you've seen our Castle Bravo, that was a 15 megaton. Pair. Yeah. So this is pretty close to that, that they're, they're carrying. Um, well, this, uh, uh, for a reason I can't find, like the actual reason of what happened, um, but the, the, uh, plane just broke up apart in midair. Um, oh no, uh, probably if I had to guess probably it was like the refueling incident where they're refueling and like they probably hit each other, um, but uh, so it broke apart in midair um, all the pilots ejected um, and these bombs also ejected because <laughs> everything got ejected. You know the Explode. Does it have a kill switch on it? Like, does it have an engage switch where you have to do something for it, or are those live? There's well, these are live bombs. There's safeties on it. Okay, that's what these I was are live bombs, though. Um, and they fell into the salt and sea. <laughs> yeah, very similar concept, um, except for this was the town of Goldsboro, North Carolina, uh, where um, <laughs> it, people woke up on the morning of January 24th to just find nukes sticking out of the ground all around town. Uh, with the largely still intact with the parachute attached to the back of it, just like the fully deployed to parachute. Yeah, um, just sticking out of the ground. These are like 15 foot bombs sticking out of the ground um, and one of them uh, had actually <laughs> this is the scariest part of this incident to me um, is uh, uh, w- one of the block one of the <laughs> one of the bombs uh, had plunged itself um, uh, 20 feet into the ground uh, and uh, and even though the but it didn't go off. Yeah, so what, what what happened with all these what is they either didn't detonate or just their TNT payload detonated. So it was just a, a blast, but not a blast. You know, <laughs> it's like a blast, but like not a Blast! You know, what I mean? you know, it's a lot like um, my 14th birthday party. You know, it was a blast, <laughs> but it wasn't like a blast. 
<laughs> you know, and I think that's why Alex didn't kiss me that day. <laughs> if I had to think about it, it, it was a blast, you know, but it was, it was a blast. Blast. it's like, you know, yeah, so my next birthday party, it's like I whenever sure. you propose to breathe. <laughs> It was a blast, but it wasn't a blast, <laughs> you know, because she got real mad that you left and yeah, that was your fault. Uh, literally not my fault. <laughs> literally your fault. Whatever. We don't have to tell a story about how you proposed. <laughs> so uh, uh, we don't have to tell a story about how you got too nervous and I had to propose for you. <laughs> I just <understand. laughs> Bro, I need you. I to like, this. Bro, I need you. To I was this. like, I stood, the, I stood there and I just, I, she's like, she's like, what are you guys doing? Like I'm standing right next to you. <laughs> And you're like down on one knee, <laughs> and I'm like trying. I'm like, and I'm like there for emotional support. <laughs> I like pass out. I'm like, come on, come on, Tim, grow some teeth, <laughs> right? And you're just, um, hey, uh, hey, Brick. Um, I mean, uh, Brick. Uh, I call her Brick. <laughs> <laughs> I call her Brick. <laughs> Look up at you. Well, I'm on a knee. She's right out in front of me. I call her Brick, man. Oh God, I'm, I'm freaking like, out. I'm like, all right, let's. I need you to do this for me. <laughs> <laughs> Jared, Jared, take the wheel. You just, dude, you, let's say, let's say that you, this is real, right? Let's say that I'm like away. Let's say that I'm hiding somewhere, <laughs> trying to watch this happen, trying to make sure it goes smoothly, right? You're telling me that you forget her name. You say, hey, brick, but you somehow remember <laughs> mine to scream out for my help, right? Jared. <laughs> You're just like Jared, 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 help! And she's just standing there. You think she's still there? You, I mean, you haven't even pulled the ring out yet. All right, you're just on one knee. You're just like, and she's just there. And then I casually walk up, and I'm like, "Hey, Bree, here's what's up. Tim really likes you." And really like. And he wants to know if you like him too. <laughs> Check yes or no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what happened. Uh, oh wow! So this, I remember it very fondly. <laughs> they uh, they ended up recovering all of these bombs, yeah. except for the one that dug twenty feet underground. They took some pieces of it and they buried it, and then they buried it. Shut <laughs> up! <laughs> yeah, they took some pieces of it, and after taking a few pieces off, they said to do this more would would jeopardize it. Yeah, and so they said we're just gonna bury it. Uh, so there's just a live nuke <laughs> underground where in Goldsboro, North Carolina. Let's go. Okay, dig it up. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's underneath a golden corral now, <laughs> <laughs> and that's one of their main selling points. So like, yeah. hey, you want to eat this golden corral? One, we've got unlimited food, and also there's a nuke under here. <laughs> that's like all on the sign out. It'll front. blow you away. No, oh. it's a bomb. It's a have bomb. a bomb. <laughs> Have a blast. But yeah, not have a your blast. 14th birthday party here at Golden Corral. <laughs> You'll have a blast, Damn, we should. but hopefully not a blast. <laughs> hey, uh, this is a, probably a good opportunity to pitch our um, our live event that we're going to be doing. It's called the Ice Cream Social. <laughs> it's at uh, the Golden Corral on Madison Avenue in Kansas City, Missouri. <laughs> Bro, we should do it. At it's going to be Corral. a blast. We should do a meet and we should do meet and greets <laughs> at Golden Corrals across With the country. Do you understand? For all seven of our fans, <laughs> you know, we just go and do meet and greets. That's hilarious. We could corral our fans. Come on into man. the Golden Corral. Yeah, that's pretty funny. That is pretty funny. Yeah, so they they took a couple pieces and they just left the rest of it in there and they buried it. And they buried I it knew there. they would do that. Yeah, that's what the government does when they like mess up. It's what they did with DIA. It's what they did with this bomb. Yeah, it's that's what the government <laughs> did with DIA. Yeah, they're just like, whoops. Uh, bury it. Just uh, that's what. Um, uh, bury no, it. Um, bury it. I almost made a joke. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> the next one uh, happened in Yuba City, California. Uh, another time where this US one is City. Yuba, Yuba oh, City. Yuba City. Yeah, so it's like it, it, this was back when uh, ska bands were really big, and it was Yuba, Yuba City. We're Yuba City. Um, okay. <laughs> what instrument do you think that was? Trumpet. Everyone can see that. Can you? That's can oh. you trumpet? 
Did you play trumpet? You look like you played trumpet, Alex. Well, here I have to get close to make the sound. I can't make the sound with my hand that far away. What is this? A freaking <laughs> bird call? <laughs> you're telling me that <laughs> you were marching band. You're you telling me that your without mouth? your hand up to your mouth, that trumpet impersonation would sound worse. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it without my hand up here. I can do a good trumpet. Yeah, let's hear it. Now do it. Ska, ska trumpet. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Hold on, I got this. I, I'm under pressure. I don't like it. Here we go. I can usually do this pretty well when you're not here. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it's really good. Alone. I walk around my house and I'm just like. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> no, it just sounds weird. Maybe it's because I have headphones. <laughs> It's not bad. Oh, I actually have a trumpet taped mm. underneath here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that would be pretty cool if I did that. So in Yuba City, there was another crash uh, and they dropped another bomb. Didn't detonate. Same kind of similar story. Um, and then there was also a Savage Mountain crash in Georgia or returning from Georgia. Returning to Georgia from I've Massachusetts. Savage, Mount, Savage Mountain. It's yeah, in East that? Jesus. Oh gosh, <laughs> it's Savage Mountain. I'm trying to figure out where this was. I this just confused the heck out of me for a second there. Oh, it's in Maryland. Savage Mountain, Maryland. Okay. Um. Uh. So their routes were pretty weird. Yeah, they were all over the place. I mean, it was pretty much this situation where it's like we always have a bomber in the. And air it's really interesting that they only accidentally drop bombs <laughs> on the United <laughs> States. It <laughs> seems like Russia was like, we don't even need to use our missiles. I mean, they're bombing themselves. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's pretty uh, uh, pretty crazy. Uh, so yeah, so um, uh, uh, this was another similar thing. There was, uh, I think, another issue with refueling. They ended up crashing uh, and dropping these bombs in some swamp on the mountain. Uh, there's live live nukes, you know, in America. They buried them. <laughs> yeah, they just buried them in the mountain. Um, that's where Stranger Things came from. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that little girl, yeah, dropped her from an airplane yeah, once. <laughs> That's how eleven She's like got twenty here. feet into the ground, <laughs> and and the 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 military pilots landed and they were like, "Oh my gosh, her head's made out of chrome." Uh, <laughs> Operation Chrome Dome. <laughs> Do you remember when Stranger Things came out? Well, we lived together then, right? Yep, 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 yep. What a good time, man. Yeah, you watched it without me, so I watched it without Bree. Um, <laughs> Hold to on. To get back at you. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> Yeah, we should all go to like couples therapy together. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so uh, um, the Thule Air Base crash. Thule. Thule Air Base crash happened in the twenty first of January, nineteen sixty eight. So now we're okay. eight years into this. All right. Uh, this sounds like the end. This sounds like the last straw. The U.S. has dropped bombs on themselves for years now. Yeah. Uh, not one has come from Russia. Not one has come from Russia. Uh, all of them from the U.S. All of them from the Chrome Dome. All of them from the Chrome Dome. Uh, and uh, the U.S. has had some issues, obviously, with this this program. There's yeah. one big one, which we'll talk about in a second. We haven't even talked about the big one yet. You're telling me that there's an issue bigger than dropping bombs on ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> obviously, you, this is what you're doing right now. Is it? Like everyone's made mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes. You know. Let's be honest. Who hasn't accidentally dropped a nuke on American soil? Like we've all that's been. That's fair. We've that's all fair. Been when you really think about it, <laughs> you know. And honestly, haven't we all nuked ourselves? <laughs> if you'd like to give to our ministry today, <laughs> you can join on Patreon. Like, who's our patron right now? Ooh, ooh, ooh good call. Uh, Mackenzie Brown. Mackenzie Brown. You know. <sighs> McKinsey Brown sowed a seed of twenty five dollars a month, and I believe that God is going to bless her tenfold, <laughs> till and fold, till and fold for her seed of sowed. What? Text till and six six eight six six. I don't know. She's a Patreon supporter. Twenty five dollars. That's crazy. You know. Thanks for doing that. Yeah, that is crazy. You are very wonderful. Very thankful. We are. I mean, 
<laughs> I, color me grateful. I'll tell you what. And um, <laughs> we're having a blast. And yeah. It's all thanks to and, you. I mean, she's you know she's able to uh, get an ad free experience, so she doesn't have to watch advertisements like this one. <laughs> And we're back. Ew. <laughs> back with more ways the government's hurt us. Uh, so again, uh, the U.S. is up there flying their bombs around. Uh, and uh, here's a punk rock lyric I just thought of. <laughs> <laughs> all right, tell me about it. We wondered if the government heard us. But all they did was hurt us. Oh Come on. Gosh. Come on. I hate that, man. I hate that. Okay, so oh. uh, this time they're in their uh, green Lind. Is that how you say it? green Lind route? I hate that. They're in their Greenland or out loud. Shut route. up, dude. You're so wrong. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> they're in their Greenland route. Um, <laughs> and uh, somehow a fire breaks out on board their B 52. You talk uh, about Greenland like it's a place in Candyland. <laughs> <That's, laughs> that sounds like you're just like they're in the Greenland route. Welcome to Greenland. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was at Waffle House in Greenland. And <laughs> okay. So a fire breaks out on board. Fire breaks out on board because you know they had the whole like smoking, non smoking on planes for a minute there. You think um, they had a non smoking section on planes? <laughs> they had a non smoking section on the B 52. <laughs> Which is, I mean, at restaurants, every section was the smoking section. Can we agree? <laughs> if they had a smoking and not, like I remember growing up, yeah. we always sat in the non smoking section yeah. at Mexican yeah. Villa. Yeah. Exactly. I remember they had a smoking section. It's yeah. crazy. And, and it, it still smelled it like over. cigarette smoke. <laughs> Yeah, and that was before they figured out uh, it wasn't good to smoke That's on board so a weird nuclear aircraft. That's so weird. We were alive at a point whenever you would go in, and the first question the hostess would ask you is, "Sir, do you have a shirt to put on?" And the <laughs> second question was, "Smoking or non-smoking?" That's crazy that we were alive for that. Do you smoke? It's like that's a weird. That's, man, that's, that's a, a personal strange question. Strange question to just ask me. Yeah, clearly I'm missing two teeth. The <laughs> answer is yes. <laughs> yeah, sit me over there, bro. Whenever you smoke, do you like put cigarettes? <laughs> this is. I love that I'm implying that you smoke and you just didn't even disagree. I was like, whenever you smoke and you were like, uh huh? Yeah. Just stick on. <laughs> you got two cigarettes hanging out here <laughs> right now. Just yeah, go ahead. No, it's actually really convenient. Like, I'll put my straw in there. Shut up. Yeah, I'll put really? I'll my straw in there and then I don't How even have, have to I open my teeth. I've never seen you do this. I don't like it. I'm literally I'm questioning the last 10 years of my life right now. <laughs> Go ahead. So, so the fire, fire breaks, breaks out, out and they crash uh, in Greenland. They uh, couldn't put the fire out. There's no fire extinguisher. No, they, their I, only <laughs> thing they could do was well <laughs> got to nosedive this thing down into Greenland. Yeah, so they crash. Um, and this time uh, the nukes they they nuke. Um, oh really? Like partially nuke. You know, it's like it's like a nuke, but not a nuke. You know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it, it was significant. Um, and it's I mean it's Greenland, so there's nothing there. Um, right. but still, um, there are significant radioactive materials left at the crash site now. I think they're why the ocean's rising. <laughs> Maybe. Um, it, 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 here's the thing. There uh, uh, is a lot of uranium, plutonium, Ameri americium, I think is and tritium. There. Um, luckily, uh, some of the plutonium and the tritium has a half life of only twelve years. Okay. Um, on on the other end, uh, some of the uranium has a half half life of four point five billion years. Um, Perfect. So it, it's going to be radioactive for uh, a while. Yeah, uh, <laughs> at least until our grandkids are here. <laughs> at least, <laughs> at least, at, at least, least. <laughs> at, at the very minimum, at the very least. <laughs> yeah, so it's going to be radioactive for a long time. Greenland uh, was not mad or not. They were mad. They were not. They happy. were like. They were like. Actually, yeah, it's fine. Like we don't use that. It's just ice. No, no, no. no. <laughs> sorry, sorry. You hit blue land. <laughs> We're Greenland. That's blue land up there. Nukem. I hate I hate the blue landians. 
uh, blue blue Landonites, blue, blue legions. Okay, so <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> this was the second significant crash, and this was oh. when the U.S. said probably shouldn't do this anymore. Yeah, um, but before this, there was another significant crash called the. So the Greenland one was the was the tipping. It point. was the they nail were like, in the ah, coffin okay, when they okay, were like, okay. "We've done this to ourselves a lot." Yeah, that was the nuke in the <laughs> ice cap. <laughs> was, yeah, when they yeah, were like, the "We can't do this." Field. That was the last. This is the last nuke. Okay. <laughs> uh, and so yeah, they. Stopped. But the one before that. Yeah, the one before that was the Palomares crash of 1966. Okay. Uh, and this so, is, like, I mean, every year they're having incidents. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they just keep dropping bombs places. I um, mean, this one was. They oh, got one of those boards back at the air force. <laughs> it's like days without <laughs> days an accident. Without an accident. <laughs> days without dropping a nuclear bomb on accident. <laughs> Uh, it's yeah. a really somber place at the <laughs> airbase. They're just like, mm. Mm. Uh, yeah. So this one happened over the Mediterranean on the coast. We were of supposed to have an ice cream Spain. party if we reached a hundred days. <laughs> <laughs> I've really been looking forward we to this. Made it in ice cream, and guys. Gary messed it up. Four point five billion years until our next ice cream party. <laughs> <laughs> I won't even see it. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> mad. Uh, well, this one was a a refueling uh, maneuver. Okay, uh, and they actually hit some turbulence and they hit each other. The two jets oh, hit each other. Okay, and so they broke apart midair and the bombs just kind of fell out. Um, and they landed in Spain and they did a partial explosion. Uh, and Spain was like, "Whoa, not cool." <laughs> <laughs> Spain's like, oh, 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 listen, we try to stay out of this stuff, but yeah, I mean, we know you and Russia have been doing this thing for a little bit where you're like, hey, hey. And we um, just this was not cool. Like, I mean, we're, this year's been a blast, but we don't want it to be a blast, you know? Oh, man. Yeah, so they dropped uh, and they were like, can we still film cheetah girls there? And they're like, well, <laughs> Mate, we need a break. All right, give us like forty years. Yeah, give us forty. We'll <laughs> Maybe we'll do it. You're then. saying, you're saying that in '66 someone was like, "I got this idea," the Cheetah Girls. Yeah, <laughs> and then Spain was like, "Well, you just <laughs> half nuked us." All right, so we can't do that right now. We're not going to let you do Wait, that. Forty years. In forty years, have your grandkid come back to me. Yeah, this guy is sitting right next to the days without an accident. And then they, they did a the cheetah girls movie in Spain <laughs> right, the, right next to the the days without a nuclear accident. There's another sign that says this days, days until, until, until cheetah cheetah girls. Girls. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy crosses at the zero and he's like he's like 4.5 billion years to ice cream party, but the guy's like, but hey, hey only hey. 20,000 days until <laughs> the cheetah girls. <laughs> Keep your head up, Chrome Dome. <laughs> Do you want a cigarette? Yeah. <laughs> Pull it up the side. Oh my gosh. So yeah, so hey, then, what are you doing next weekend? I mean, nothing now. Nothing, We've got nothing. Yeah, yeah. I'm just probably going to fly that route again. <laughs> cool. Well, I heard about this really cool festival in Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> I freaking love it, bro. <laughs> yeah, we should fly by. We should fly over <laughs> it. <laughs> that looks more dangerous than what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. Yeah, so these uh, so Spain along with a lot of other countries in the world were yeah. like, hey, don't fly over us anymore. All the other countries are like, why well, are we next? Hey. Yeah, they're like, hey, just keep dropping those on yourself, okay? Hey, that'd that's be great. for you and you alone. What you guys do in your house, <laughs> that's up to you, okay? Pretty much. The rest of the world was like, stop it. Except for Greenland, apparently. 
Uh, they said, yeah, just keep flying by. That's and cool. then Russia was like, why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? You know? Well, then it came out around the same time that this last 68 one happened that Russia had been lying about their uh, intercontinental <laughs> ballistic missiles. They didn't have them. Uh, and well, they had something similar, but it wasn't. It couldn't go as far and as fast as they said. Yeah, and well, so then obviously. The, <laughs> so then the US was like, well, I guess we don't need to do this anymore. So they just stop <laughs> land the planes. <laughs> Bring her home. Operation and Ground Dome like, was hey, a it's success. Over. It's over. Oh man, <laughs> does anyone get the cheetah girls earlier? And Spain's like, no. Yeah, you still have to deal with the consequences of your actions. <laughs> this is what setting boundaries looks like. <laughs> We've got a national timer. You know, you go to you go to Spain and like all next to all like the architecture and the <laughs> fountains and stuff. They just got a digital clock. <laughs> digital clock. It's a countdown. It's like the freaking countdown clock at Times Square on yes. New Year's Eve. Yep. Happy. They're dropping girls. a ball. They're dropping a ball <laughs> very slowly for, with, 40 for 40 years. <laughs> it's the cheetah girls ball. <laughs> if you look at the left side of your bus, you will see the cheetah girls ball. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so uh, that's why so uh, they cut that out. They were like, all right, all right, all right. <clears throat> yeah, so they stopped doing that. Um, but yeah, there's uh, a few of those bombs have never been recovered. Um, we're just pretending it never happened. Apparently, um, which makes sense. Yeah, so it's uh, uh, that is. So are we gonna go find them? <coughs> like I really do think like you and you I should like take a year off of whatever your job is, <laughs> and <clears throat> we should go just do a till and road trip. We can go to marijuana Mecca. Yeah, you know we can go to Slab City. Okay, we can go um, to the place in Alabama that sells the uh, uh, excess baggage, the baggage claim place. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You remember that? I remember that. We can go to um, where are the other places we've mentioned. <laughs> uh, wherever this bomb is, twenty feet underground. Yeah. I oh, we can. Yeah, we can go to um, L.A. where a battle took place. Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. I mean, yeah, I, I uh, and just like quit your job, leave your wife your and let's <laughs> hit the road, buddy. <laughs> she doesn't listen to this. It's true. She doesn't have patience for this. No <laughs> one does. No one's listening at this point <laughs> of the episode. All right, cool. Um, Do you want to run away with me? <laughs> 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 we can just hit the road. <laughs> uh, so there's a sign in uh, Eureka, North Carolina, right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Eureka, North Carolina. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, and it just says, <laughs> "There's a bomb." <laughs> it just says, "Keep digging." That's all it says. It just says, "I have a bomb." <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it says, "Nuclear mishap." Uh, and it says B fifty two transporting two nuclear bombs crashed January nineteen sixty one. Widespread disaster averted. Three human died though. Says <laughs> three human died though. <laughs> three human died. Three. It says. Three. It says though. <laughs> it says though. <laughs> it says the word though. It says three crewmen died though. <laughs> On the official sign. <laughs> Nothing happened. Three crewmen died though. <laughs> Comma though that is the <laughs> three crewmen died though. Population two thousand. <laughs> okay, so let me get this straight. Nuclear mishap. Plane crash. Nothing bad happened. Three crewmen died though. Population two thousand days until cheetah girls are here. <laughs> the little digital sign, the digital in it. Clock. but it's broken. It's so it's broken. Flashing lights. It's now counting the other way because it came out like twenty years ago. <laughs> Someone went and spray painted days since, since cheetah girls Jesus. came out. <laughs> like that was our high point. And at the very bottom it says. Fiddle off. There it is.
Hey, thanks for watching the things I learned last night. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and watch some of our other videos. They're showing up on the screen somewhere around here right now. We'll see you later.